Hello students, in the last uh, video of Kohan Sudarland line clipping algorithm, we had seen this example and there are some lines which are partial, okay, they are half inside the window and half outside the window. So we had decided that during that time we will take the intersection point of that line, intersection point to the edges, we will take that uh, point and the one which is intersection to inside line only that will be displayed and the other will be clipped off. So we need some formula to find these intersection points. So that we can calculate which point is this. So we can clip this part and we can display this part. So here we will be seeing some formulas to find the intersection points. Now think there are these coordinates x1, y1 and x y okay so given x1 y1 will be given and you all have to find out x y where x y is the intersection points okay this is given x1 y1 and we have to find x y which are the intersection points and these are the coordinate points so based on these points we'll find the slope and the formula for slope is m is equals to y minus y1 divided by x minus x1 okay so based on this formula we'll get this this side y minus y1 and we'll get this this side is equals to m x minus x1 y is equals to y1 will take it this side it will become positive so y1 plus m x minus x1 so this formula which is there it is used for finding y of the intersection points okay only y okay and that will be y is equals to y1 plus m x minus x1 now x1 y1 is already given and slope m you can find out by this formula okay x1 will be there y1 will be there m will be there but the question is what value to put for x because x will not be given okay so what you'll have to do is you'll have to consider a window like this okay window will be there like this and this point is known as x minimum and this point is known as x maximum okay x values increases from this point to this point this is x minimum this is x maximum we'll call this line as left border and we'll call this line as right border now think that if your line is crossing at the left border then you will have to take x as x minimum okay that means your x has to be x minimum if your line is crossing left to border and you have to take x as x maximum if your line is crossing the right to border that means when it is crossing this border that time you will have to take x as x maximum so it is left to you to decide to take which value for x whether x minimum or x maximum whenever your line is cro crossing this part of the window take immediately x as x minimum if this part of the window take x as x maximum no taking both so this is to find y of the intersection point okay we have found the formula for finding y of the intersection point now we need one more formula to find x of the intersection point so how to find that Take the formula of slope once again, m is equals to y minus y1 divided by x minus x1. Get it this side, m this side, m x minus x1 is equals to, this will remain here, y minus y1. Okay, x minus x1 you keep it here, is equals to m you get it this side, is equals to 1 divided by m and this will be as it is y minus y1. Again, x is equals to get x1 inside. So, to become positive, x1 plus 1 divided by m y minus y1. So, this is the formula for finding x of the intersection point. We have already find, found y of the intersection point. Now, we are finding x of the intersection point. So, what is the problem here is, x1 will be given, y1 will be given, m also we can find out with the help of the formula. But the question is what to take y here. So when you have to take y, consider the window here. Okay. And this time, 
you have to consider this line okay and if your line is crossing this you will consider two borders upper border bottom border here for x it was left border and right border for y you have to consider upper border and bottom border if your line is crossing this part okay this part of the window if it's crossing then you will have to take y as y maximum okay that is if it's crossing the upper border and if your line is crossing the bottom border you all have to take y as y minimum okay so here you have to take x if it is crossing this you will take x as x minimum if it is crossing right border you will take x as x maximum here y you will have to take if it is crossing upper border you will have to take y as y maximum and if your y is if your line is crossing bottom border you will have to take x uh, y as y minimum so this is the formula for finding x y of an intersection point